I think he's 40 knots, but here is Liam Whaley. Look, he's gone high enough, hasn't he? With a massive mega loop back roll board off around his body in a clean. Yeah, 100% here is Liam Whaley. Definitely finding the height in a bit of a low in the wind, but still performing this massive mega loop uh, laid back roll board off and putting a nice score on. This is winding me up now, Ruben. Yeah. This is what is part of kiteboarding and what you have to deal with in competition. And cool. Uh, an interesting is a big air rider in 25 knots. Oh. Okay, maybe you'd have a case there. A <laughs> loop <laughs> for looking at the female stakes. Oh, hey, there we go with a contra loop, one of his signature moves, landing it clean and full speed. There he found a gust in order to perform uh, the, the move he was after. Was it three front rotations? There he goes, one, board off, two, and the board spin. He had three rotations. Oh. Oh, he wants a double loop board off. Oh, whoa. How did he deal with that impact? I don't know how he dealt with that impact. That would have been scary. He's angry. Visibly angry. Ruben, look at this. It looks like he found the gust then. The wind did come in. He flew, did two forward rotations, got the board off, but then he just dropped it. It's not big air. How high do you jump? Let us know in the comments. Uh, uh, 30 meters. Uh, uh, epic one. Keep that performance going and enjoy the progression. Every day you learn something new. And here Liam Whaley finds the gust, gets the height and goes for the double loop. And landing it clean and claiming it. He stomped it. I want to get a replay on that to see exactly what the kite did. So he took off. He did a kite loop, double kite loop with a massive late back roll and getting really level with that. Comes from the race director. And now we're starting to see these moves really take place. Into the front roll. This and it's a contra for. loop. The contra loop here, Ruben, and it's big. Lots of distance. Riders now hitting the 15 meters mark. 16.8 meters on height. With a tic tac during that contra loop. This so he big. grabs it by the fin. He, oh, nice. What a momentum to just flick the board. He is on his sixth trick, and he's starting to score biggies here, Ruben. Is that a doobie double? Yep. I think he looped the kite twice, and he did. Yeah, he's claiming it must be. So uh, doobie loop, two forward rotations with two kite loops, one loop and two loops. Oh, get it! Look at that height and the angle. Very, very, very nice from. He was just looking at what scores well, and he needs it. Ah, oh, double contra loop, but he was not getting the height. I was already impact. feeling. I thought he was aborting this trick, but he still went for it for a double contra loop board off. Here in the beginning, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna uh, stop it, but then uh, he went for it anyway. Ah, with the long lines, not speed, left foot forward. Chucking himself into a massive double kite loop board off and landing it clean, Liam Whaley. Liam Whaley looks to me like he's got this one, Ruben. What an epic move that was from Liam Whaley to complete his seven. The scores are going off the scale here. Look at that, he's getting oh. leveled with his kite, even with those long lines. Absolutely mind-blowing action here in the final of the GKA Kite World Tour here in Barcares. A 9.37. Are you kidding me, what? Ruben? I think that was the biggest move of the day. He always had it in the bank, but how can there be any reply to this? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I already saw that was not going to turn out well.